Hello, everybody. It's Saturday. It is April 13th. We are happy campers. I am so sorry I wasn't here last weekend. I had plans to go live from Boise, but my family had other plans about making us do early stuff, so I had to cancel, but I am alive. I am well. I will tell you, holy cow, getting to Boise, because there decided to be a freak storm in Idaho, a snowstorm. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the most scariest thing in the whole entire world. We were driving down to Boise on the freeway, of course, and you're supposed to be going 80 miles an hour, whatever it is. And we are all at a dead stop. Hello, Kaya. I love you. We are all at a dead stop, just crawling at 20 miles an hour on the freeway, white out snow. Oh my gosh, it was the scariest thing. But we're alive. And my husband's like, Shh, calm down, calm down. And I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> it was hilarious. But yeah, so that's what happened to me last weekend. But I'm here now. It is so nice to see you too, Kaya. So I have a couple of things. I have, I've had this for quite a while, but I've never have opened it yet. I have some hobby yarns. We'll open that in a few. And then what I've decided that we're going to do, if you've seen my video on the animal spirit thing, I'm going to start doing the pull the card on the live. And then throughout the week, everyone can work on it. And then by Friday, we will show our pictures of whatever it is that we did on the Facebook group or in an email if you want to send it to me that way. So that's what I'm going to decide to do there. And then I will probably post my video. Well, I shouldn't say a plan because I never know how long it's going to take me to do something. <laughs> but that's part of the plan, at least. So shall we first start with some yummy yarn? got to get my scissors. I have some yarn that I had already bought from Hobby for the In the Mood for the Melody shawl. And then, I don't know, I decided I needed more bougie yarn. So, I've got it. They're both the same flavor, though. Ooh, so it is Cotton King Sultan 100% cotton. It is the colorway. I cannot find it, but I believe it said something about lilac or something, though, because it's all the purples. Oh, the camera doesn't pick up the color very, very well, but light purple to dark purple. Oh, so pretty. So I have two of those. I can't wait to use that. Yeah. I, this, the, well, I was going to say this is my first bougie yarn, but not technically, because this here that I'm doing for the In the Mood for the Melody Shawl. This was the very first one that I bought. And this is like Indigo Shadow or something like that. But I needed more because it's beautiful. I have never spent so much money on a cake of yarn. That was actually on sale. And I bought, so I bought these for $13.50 or something like that. Still expensive. When you're used to buying awesomeness that's only, you know, $2. <laughs> Those are your favorite colors. Which one? The purple one? This one? Purple. Or the indigo? Oh, show. That is, I do love it. It's very stunning. I really want to get, oh man, I, I could spend too much money there at Hobby. I really could. Actually, I should probably show my progress on the In the Mood for the Melody shawl. I did start over on it because what I was doing because I'm not used to having such a small hook or small yarn. And so I was using a six millimeter hook on this really, really thin, thin, thin sport weight yarn, the purple one. Yes. Purple is my favorite color too. But so I frogged it all and I started over again. So now, cause you're supposed to use like a 2.5 millimeter hook or something like that. 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter hook. So now I am using a five still because I do crochet very, very tight. And it was so small if you use their size hook for as tight as I crochet. So I started over. Where's my, there it is right there. 
So that's where I'm at. I can't remember which row it is, but like 18 or 19 or something. And now you can actually see, because the last time I showed it, you couldn't really see that there was a bottom of a treble clef. And now you can, so I'm liking it much better. I just hope it's going to be big enough. So that's my progress on that. But then, so I was like, I needed something awesome to do. And I am totally trying to log into my work computer by pressing like HHH or something. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. So then I decided that I needed something that I can just whip around with. And then I needed something to do with my very special little yarn that Don Aaron gave me. Or no, I bought it actually. Just kidding. I She didn't give it to me. I bought it. But those are my, this is my wedding colors. Well, you can't see that either. This is a purple and a blue and a black. But the purple just does not show up. But I named this Marriage in Twilight for our wedding colors. That was 20 odd years ago, though. But I decided that I really needed to make my own awesome shawl situation. But this is all just blocks and windows. And it's a checkerboard situation. So on top of each block is a window. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. So it is a play on Springs pattern, but it's not a specific pattern pattern at all. It's just my own thing for that one. So I can't wait till I finish that. I have this much left of the first one and then this one left. So yeah, exciting, exciting. Hello, Ivy. How are you? So yeah, and then sneak peek, don't look, mom. <laughs> I'm working on the, I have so many squares. I have to make, these are my daisy squares for my Mother's Day blanket for me, mama. She already knows about it. She saw one of my lives and I was like, oops. She's like, oh, but I'm like, you don't know. It's fine. <laughs> but anyway, I've got to get that done. And I have, so I'm trying to decide whether I needed to do it in nine by nine. That makes it a square or if I should do it 10 by eight. So basically I need to make 80 squares. And I don't know if that's even big enough. So I don't know. That's what I'm going to do with that. Ivy, did you see my beautiful purple? It's Papa. We like the Papa. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've been working on this week. Still have to do my brother-in-law's blanket. I kind of put that down for a bit. Have not worked on my crescent moon shawl at all. I I have to, I'm totally it's party. I have ADHD. <laughs> I don't know how else to say. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm gonna work on this this time. And so I also have this is just a very, very, very sneaky peaky. Ready, sneaky peaky? Sneaky peeky. I'm make, I'm working on that too. I have to make a tail still. I can't wait for that. But I didn't film any of it because why would I? So I'm I'm making this and to try to figure out how things are going, and then I'm gonna make a tutorial on it. So yeah. So let us go ahead and do the spirit animal oracle card for this week. And so that way we can decide if we, you know, what we want to do. If you guys want to give us ideas, if you guys want to do it at all, you are welcome to. Last week we did the peacock spirit. And so I've been keeping them out so that we don't double dip. But I can put them back in if you guys decide. So we shall shuffle our cards. Oh, and I will drop them all on the floor. Hold down just a second. Okay, there we go. I have too many small fingers. Okay. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. One more shuffle. Okay. Oh boy, another bird situation. We have the turkey spirit. 
<laughs> Thankful spirit. Let's see what they say in the beautiful book. This is Colette Baron Reed, the Animal Spirit Guide Oracle, by the way. Hello, Stitching on a Hill, Diana. So this is number 61. Uh, okay, the turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace, kind of figured. Oracle message says, turkey spirit's message for you is that you always have the potential for manifesting a rich, healthy, and turkey rep... Oh, sorry. Let me start that over. Oracle message. Turkey Spirit's message for you is that you always have the potential for manifesting a rich reality, for the turkey represents generosity and celebration of abundance through giving to others. That is very true. Give freely without expectation and you shall receive, for the manifestation of abundance is happening right now. Align with it by sharing your good fortune with others, whether you give money, loving guidance, the gift of listening, or kindness in any form. Immerse yourself in the flow of generous abundance, being a channel for turkey spirit and the desire of spirit to see all beings experience the blessings of plenty. Give with gratitude and grace from a wellspring of love and compassion, knowing that the spirit will respond by giving you all that you need in this moment and all moments to come. That is a very, very good one, actually. I love, yeah, you know, it's, you know, like we've been doing the, you know, go support 2024 and all of those. So it's kind of, oh, am I unfocused? I just realized. Focus me, please. Anyway, it will eventually come back. But yeah, so thankful spirit and generosity and all the good things. So that's great. I really, really like that. What do you guys think that you would what comes to mind hello Shirley Shirley do I want to crochet something do I want to paint something don't know good things we have hello Mara there is a Nisi parade Nisi parade I wish I had a I don't have a uh welcome parade or anything like that yet oh spring's here too i missed you sorry hello hello yay i'm so happy so yeah if you guys want to find or uh so i have my facebook group called the craft room so if you guys want to join that and then hello sharon and then you can uh show me what you have made for the turkey spirit or if you have any ideas that you want to see me do for the turkey spirit and then you guys can post those by friday and then on the next live i do i will do a slideshow of everything for the turkey spirit and then pick for the next one does that sound like a plan stands hello lulu my love <laughs> i think it's awesome i'm hoping that you guys are going to like this new situation i've got i'm trying to incorporate my awesome crazy magicness weirdness into my crochet and show it to my loves because that's what I do hello miss Gloria yeah so I wonder with the turkey spirit we would need red and brown and blues can I make a feather oh I'm thinking if I can make like a feather crown or, oh, I don't know. Give me ideas, guys. Give me ideas. <laughs> I think that sounds like a good idea. So, yeah, that is all I have to share. Oh, except for possibly I'm thinking I'll do a poll. But when, especially now that it's become summer, Saturdays are almost hard for me. Because they're because I have to leave immediately. They're like, oh, well, you have to do your live. So we'll just have to wait. And I'm like, eh. you know, so I'm thinking of moving my lives to Sundays. And then it gives a good start of the week for the new Oracle card anyway. Hello, Miss Nisi. So I will do a poll on that for your guys' feedback. It would probably still be the same time at 11 o'clock. I don't know if there's anybody that goes live on Sundays at 11. You guys tell me. And then 
either Saturday or Sunday. Do you guys, which ones do you guys like the best? I know a lot of people go live Sunday nights. Hello, unique, you made amazing stripes. I really hope I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I am so... <gasps> Michael's here, my brother, hello. I did miss you. Oh, man. I'm a terrible sister. Okay, nope, I saw Kaya, stitching on Hill, Diana, Shirley, Mara. Teresa, I missed you. Hello, Teresa. Sharon, my brother, Michael. Lulu, Sharon again. Nisi, Shirley, Teresa. Okay. I think I got everybody. I am so sorry if I did miss anybody. I don't know why, like, for some reason, I think that I'm good. And then all of a sudden, I see somebody way at the top. And I'm like, oops. <laughs> Miss C is live on Sundays. What time does she go live? Because I know, uh, like, Juan is live on Sundays nights. And then Mara for the wind-up. Mishi. And they're all at night. So I don't know if there's anybody in the mornings. Noon Eastern time is when Missy goes. Oh, so let's see. Eastern is two hours behind me. So it would be 10. So I'd still be. I would be do, doing it right after her then. If she only does an hour. Hello, Miss Tank. Yeah. I don't know. I'll think about it some more. I have to think about things before I do it. So I might have another live Saturday. Or I might have another live Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> noon eastern time okay 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 yeah so i wonder can i even do carry at two eastern also on sundays okay so that's two uh that's 12 okay so i could do missy me and then carry i think yeah I am perfectly fine. One also has a Zoom today at 4 Central Time. Oh, okay. There are so many going live every day of the week. It is hard to know what to do. I know, that's true. See, and that's that's another part of my big problem is giving everybody their space, but then when do I do mine? I don't know. It's terrible that way, but I know that, you know, we can't, we can't always coordinate together. Rita, hello. Jamie Hun, hello everybody in the chat, she says. What is that cute? Oh, that's a little hand. Cool. I've never seen, I wish, I can't, oh. Okay, so I have 202 subscribers at the moment. Yes, I do. 202 subscribers. When I hit 250, we will have a awesome giveaway. I'm going to be making probably, I want to do maybe another one of these shawls for the giveaway, but it won't be in these, this colorway because this is my special marriage uh, color colorway, but it's something like this maybe for 250 and then I'll do another one at 500 and then I'll do another one at probably 750 and then my thousand and then hopefully I will have my hours and be monetized let's get me monetized by my birthday it is a long ways away it's October but I want to be monetized please <laughs> you like those colors oh yeah you probably weren't here earlier to see it so it's purple and blue you can't put purple blue and black Don Aaron loving hands creations dyed this yarn for me and I named it Marriage in Twilight because those are my husband's and I's wedding colors. Very pretty. My favorite colors. And then just for those coming in, my beautiful purple yarn. That's purple. I like purple. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, by the way, type gem into the chat if you want to share your link. Please do. I like to share the links. Yeah, it's my favorite. Lulu, you changed your, uh, whatchamadoo. <laughs> so it kind of threw me off for a minute. I like it, though. Yeah. And so that's all I have today. So happy to see you all, Lulu says. You like my purple yarn, Michael? 
is nice. I that Michael is the one that I went to go see last weekend. I had my husband's family up there for a monster truck show. And then while we were down there, I just was there to see my brother as well. He let us stay overnight with him because he's an awesome brother. And I got to see my baby, my baby nephew. I love my baby nephew. I miss him so much all the time. I hope he's watching because then I can do this. <laughs> Your internet keeps going out cold and rainy today. Ew, yucky. It's actually nice today. You know, Idaho is so weird. Let's see what, what let's see what it is right now. Right now it's 58. Oh, nope, I lied. I just opened it up. It's 64. So, you know, like this weekend it was 32 degrees, snowing like mad, and then by Tuesday it was 71 degrees. I don't know. Idaho is weird. Check the oven. Hello, Miss Dawn. Did you see what I'm making? Were you were you hanging out in the in the bushes? This is what I'm making with your yarn. Oops, it's upside down. Brutios. I love it. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. Shani says hello. Heartfish orange wide eyes. <laughs> I wish need to go on. well it, when I go on YouTube it does an echo thing because I forget do can I if I'm on YouTube do I need to turn down my do I need to mute my volume or will that mute me I'm still learning all these things thank you I did do a little bit of a variation with this pattern it was a variation of springs pattern so it's just checkers blocks and and windows it's absolutely no um uh pattern on it at all just checkers but yeah i still have hers it's a beautiful it's here mm. i need to get working on that too mute the u-type yeah, that, okay, that's what i thought okay if i mute this there we go then I can actually watch it. Let's see. Now, does that, do you guys hear that? No, no echoes or nothings? Okay, that's cool. Yay, now I know some things. <laughs> 40 degree, 47 degrees in California. That's surprising, actually. California is usually always really warm. Cool. I like that idea. So that way, I like being able to see the um, the chat on YouTube side instead because it's dark background. Because I don't think you can do StreamYard with a dark background. It's raining where you are, Don. That's so crazy. What's this weather like? What is this weather coming to? I don't know. Hold on, I'm doing something. There. There are 64 people here. Oh, 64 degrees. <laughs> I was like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yep, Northern California rain. That's crazy. Hello, Miss Jen. A little late. That's okay. No worries. Just hanging out now. 76. I wish it would, like, if it would stay, well, where I'm from, it's, we're, I mean, I'm not Alaska, but, like, 65 is where I'm a happy camper. 70 I'll deal with. 80 I'm like, I'm done with you. <laughs> Don't like it. Oops. You're at 48, Don. Wow. Yeah, sunshine. Except for I need all of them. Because look how freaking fair-skinned I am. I do not need to be in the sun. But I'll keep the warmness. 78. Heading to 84. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do that. Especially me hubby since his first heart attack. If he pretty much, a, if he's 58 degrees or more than that, he's dying. So we have to keep him under the, you know, under, in the shade and bunches of water. 
Because, yeah, we don't we don't need a fourth one. Nope, we don't. <laughs> Here you go. Dawn, have some have some sunshine. I got sunshine in my pocket. <laughs> That's about enough of that. It was 90s where you were last week, Shirley. Where are you at? I can't remember. That's crazy. See, and it'll get that hot here too. It's Idaho is so weird. It gets down to, you know, negative 15 in the winter, and then it can get up to 100 in the summer. Texas, that makes sense. Yeah. No like it. If I could stay at a steady 65, I'd be happy all day. Yeah. Dipsery Baba. Okay, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> I never have anything good. I am trying to think. If I have, oh, I can show you. I just, I feel like I need to entertain you guys for weirdness. I have a squishamallow. I like I'm a squishamallow. You need warm weather to dry the yarn? Yeah, totally. Uh, does it, does California get uh, humidity as much as like Texas and Louisiana and Georgia and all that? <laughs> Sharon is saying hello to Dawn. I always wondered, because I know here in Idaho, though we do get really, really cold, they say technically we are a desert because we don't get very much humidity at all. So I was always curious about, like, what, you know, I don't know. I don't want to live in, like, my, my husband, when he was in basic training a million years ago in Georgia, Fort Benning, Georgia, and he said it was always really hot and sticky, and he hated it. But, yeah, not me, man. I've never, the very first time that I ever went anywhere was with my husband. I've never been out of Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. Those are my those were my people. And then when me and Hubby got married, he finally got me to go to Vegas. And then he finally got me to go to Canada and Alaska. I don't know how in the world. <laughs> you have no idea how much I've grown with all of I mean, I used to be a complete thank you. <gasps> Forgot about my new curtain. <sighs> it's party. I finished it. It's beautiful. Can you guys I need to show, see, because there, eh, sorry for the tippy tippy, because um, I made it too long, and so it didn't get wide enough, so I didn't, I wasn't able to put it wide ways down, so I was like, well, we'll just do some weird modern stuff, so that's what I did. I should have, I could have bought more yarn for it, but, you know, like I said, I've got ADHD, and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm done. Same thing I did with this Tunisian crochet thingy back here because <laughs> uh, I that I I can't finish anything very easily closer to the coast more humidity okay gotcha gotcha makes sense to me you have no hot air left oh I have no hot air left <laughs> gotcha <laughs> see this is why <laughs> you know what I find that so hilarious Jen because I used to say how rude all the time too just like um what's that that girl I know who you're talking I know who you're thinking when you do it can't remember her name at the moment but I used to say that all the time too so when I found you I was like oh, that's hilarious Ivy said, I don't know. I've got a thing. Let's find out. Um, 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 um. Uh, here you go. She got the, she gave her the hot sunshine. Um, I don't know. I missed something. Cause then Shirley, and then it said, Ivy says, KK, you need warm weather to dry yarn. Hot air. Yes, hot air will dry that yarn. LOL. Oh, I wonder if you're talking like hot air, like that's a load of hot air. 
Jaxie will be live in 30 minutes. That's probably what she meant there. <gasps> Scratch and Pete PA, hello. How are you? Scratch and Pete PA is one that I met on Tuber Chat. So if you want to check him out, he does a bunch of like scratch tickets and things like that. He's really cool. Yeah. I think that's what she meant was that uh, she's full of hot air or something like that. Hello. <laughs> it's hilarious. Hello, Miss or Michael MDL Crochet. Hello, hello. Leave my thummies. Yeah, everybody, if you would please thumbs up the chat or the live. Share me out if you would like to. There was a Stephanie somewhere, but I missed it. Mason thinks I'm funny. <laughs> I'm so, I miss my Mason already. I was just up there last weekend and I already miss him. By the time I get back down there, I hope he's... He's going to be crawling and running around, and you're going to be like, where's Mason? And he's going to be in the dog food. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I just cursed my brother. <laughs> so, Michael MDL, how are you feeling lately? I know that you were having some troubles. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Sweetened sourness. <laughs> That's fun. Stephanie for oh Stephanie from Full House. You're right. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jen. I see, I told you I've already forgotten what we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I find that hilarious. She always says, how rude. I used to do that all the time, too. But everybody's saying hello again still. Yeah. So I don't know what else to talk about. I showed you all my stuff. I do bore. I don't. I could. Let's see. Mara taught me some awesome, cool stuff. If I can, hold on. Let me go back here. I need to find Creations by Jax. Oops, not that one. This one. Live videos. No? Hello, what are you doing? Crazy. There we go. Lives. This one is the one coming up. Okay, so if I do this like this, ta ta. That is Jax's live. So when we are finished here, you can go to her channel. Yes. Stream tacticness. Stream. Stream. Tacticness. Yes, that's what she says. <laughs> yeah, Mara is sweet. She really helped you out with a bunch of stuff the other night, learning new things. I did find out though that some of the stuff that I that I do I need to have paid StreamYard to do some of the stuff, but that's okay. If I might, once I get um, monetize or not monetize, maybe if I get enough. You know, if I get 500 and then I get my members and things and I have enough money kind of because I've got so many things that I'm buying at the moment for content. <laughs> like my new, oh, did I show that out yet? Yes, I did. My subscription box 
I decided that would be a thing, and so that's $40 every month for one video of content. And so I'm still figuring things out, you know, you know, you know. But yeah, once I get enough monies to be able to do the full version, then I can do awesome, cool layouts on top of the videos and things like that. So yeah. Lulu says, I hope everyone is doing well. We are having amazing sunny weather today here in central Arkansas. We have 81 degrees right now. Ooh, that's awesome. For you. <laughs> like I was just saying earlier, I don't really like 80s. But yeah, it's still nice and sunny. And it's getting to be summer. But then midsummer is when you're going to be like, too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, just making sure I didn't miss anybody. I have 18 peoples watching. Hello to my 18 peoples. Please like, like, share, subscribe, all the things. Okay, MDL Michael says, I'm okay, just have a nerve condition on my left leg and it acts up, but been hiding lately to get this darn bag o day auction blanket done. <laughs> I know what you mean. I actually have sciatic nerve issues. Oh man, it's really, really tough. I I don't know exactly when it happened because we we had bought a new bed a couple few years ago. And as we were pulling it down the stairs, I was on, you know, pulling it down the stairs this way while my husband was down the stairs pushing it down the stairs, right? Well, we were halfway down the stairs and I don't know, you know, like I like to fall down the stairs apparently. So I just went straight on my back and the, <laughs> and the mattress is just right on top of me. But I didn't, I didn't feel hurt. It just was like anger, you know, like ugh, that happened. But then, then it started acting up, but I wasn't hurt at the time. And oh man, I went to the hospital like three or four times because I'm like, I cannot handle this pain. And they're like, oh, well, it's just nerve pain. Um, there's nothing we can do about it. Do some stretches. And yeah, it was, it was a nightmare trying to get somebody to listen to me that this is not normal. And they put me on gabapentin and that fixed it. I took, I had a bunch of shots put into my back and apparently I have like a complete bulging disc that's like screwing up my sciatic nerve all the way down. So the, the pad of my foot, I can't feel. Never been able to. It sucks. But every once in a while, if I stretch it, I can kind of like get the tingling back in the bottom of my foot, which is totally weird. It's too, just so darn big. Tunisian simple stitch. Oh, that's that one. Got carried away with making a pattern for it and didn't take size into equation. Yeah, I was trying to tell you yesterday, I don't know if you, well, I don't actually don't think I posted it because I was like, nah, never mind. But this one here, which you can't really see, this is Tunisian. It's a double-sided Tunisian, and it was going to be the blanket that I was going to be using, but I was like, I can't do this anymore. It's way too big. So it's as big as this, and I had to stop because I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Tunisian. And it's double-sided. So it's two things of yarn. One, you know, it's a gray yarn and then the variegated yarn. And then you flip it and then do the variegated yarn and then the gray yarn and flip it and then do the gray yarn and the variegated, you know. So it's a back and forth. But I was done with it. I'm like this. I worked on it for a year before I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, there is nothing worse than nerve pain. And they they just put, you know, the, um, oh, I forget what they're called, but, you know, like um, aspirin cream patches to, to calm the pain down of the nerve, but it wasn't doing anything. Rita says, I fell down my stairs and my butt and black and blue. Oh, my God, I was so lucky I wasn't worse. Yeah. I know the feeling, hun, be careful. Yeah. After my surgery my, uh, what do you call that darn thing? My hysterectomy surgery, like three weeks after my hysterectomy surgery, they're like, do not do anything for like nine weeks or whatever. I can't remember already. And I fell down the stairs. 
Wow, Jamie, mine is from 12 knee surgeries and replacements. And GABA did some, uh, let me, sorry, let me do this. And GABA did nothing for me. And this past July, I had spinal cord stimulator implanted and it takes about 50 Oh, really? Mm, that's good to know. They wanted to do back surgery on me. To, they wanted to um, tear, not tear apart, but, you know, pull apart the, the discs because I have a bulging disc now. And that scares me. I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm dealing with pain. I don't know. And Ivy says, oh, no, Rita Pacheco, nice trip. See you next fall. Yeah, right. <laughs> I totally did that. Lily says, I hate to go for now, but I am actually having chronic pain flare up right now. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Pain is no fun. Nope, it's not. It disrupts everything one wants to do and causes anxiety and depression. It does. It really does, actually. Very, very true. My, yeah, because you feel like you can't do anything. And we have all these, you know, our nephews, my oldest nephew is eight. And he wants to, you know, they want to play. They want to go do things. I want to play on the big toys with them and, you know, go outside and slide down the slide. And now I can't get up the darn steps without pushing you know what I mean so that sucks totally get it but anyway Lulu I hope that you feel better and go uh go rest up oh you have a rupture ew oh I bet that sucks Ooh, I hope that Ooh, yuck 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 no ruptures I worry about that all the time, too, because they're like, well, if you if you play too hard, you might rupture it. I'm like, oh, please, no, <laughs> I'm not old yet. I tell you, I'm not doing this. I'm still I'm, I'm 40 years old in a 20 year old. No, hold on. I'm 20 years old in a 50 year old body <laughs> somehow, but I'm not really. <laughs> Your husband calls you Grace. Grace, I gracefully fall down the stairs. That is what I do. <laughs> it's very easy. Watch. <laughs> oh, man. I love that we can at least, I mean, pain is a big, uh, it is a big thing. But I would rather um, not make fun of it, but like try to make light of a bad situation, if that makes sense. So. I like the little, you know, haha, see you next fall, the little rubbing. Because it's not, there's nothing we can do about it. It's just how we're, what we do, what we live with at the moment. So, yeah. You run into doors always on the right side. Yeah. I have a hard time, like, putting um, flip-flops on. Now, with my left foot, because I can't feel my left foot very well, I'm, like, trying to put the flip-flop on. And one time my mom's like, what the crap are you doing? <laughs> like, I'm trying to put my flip-flop. <laughs> uh, Michael MDL says, we just found out a few days ago Tony has compressed disc, ooch, and a narrowing of the sciatic nerve. Ooh, Yeah. And that's how it happens. Then you get that wonderful pain all the way down your leg. It sucks. Shirley says, I do that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like you just, I don't know. I just walk like this, leaning to one side. If I hit something. My poor pupper dog, she only has one eye now. And she, when she first lost her eye, she runs, she, well, she kind of still does. She runs into everything because she can't see on that side anymore. It's kind of sad, but, yeah, that's why she's always, she's right. Oh, no, I lied. She was here. Is she over there? She's usually right next to me. She never leaves me. I think she must be out with, outside with daddy, though. Tilting to the right. <laughs> All right. Um, Shirley Bain, as big as a door. Wait, how is, how? <laughs> well, I don't know. You just, depth perception. I don't know. 
<laughs> Tony always walks into corners and doors always on the right side. That is so weird. Mine's always on the left. But that's, I don't know if it's because I have to walk now like this foot and then this foot works and then this foot. And then, so I think I kind of leaned more to the left. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Like it can be a garage door and he will still walk into it. Yeah, but garage doors, they go down. They do. <laughs> Depth perception. That's your guess. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I don't know. It's the tilt of the universe. Conspiracy theorists. Hello, Bella Whispers Farmstead. Kristen, how are you? We're just talking about nothing at the moment. <laughs> Hanging out. Uh, let me see. Rhea says, when I go into the store, hubby always says, don't fall, be careful. <laughs> yeah. When, because uh, it's so funny though, me and my husband both now have back issues because when he was 16 or 17, he got into a really nasty wreck and it completely fused his bottom two vertebrae together. So he can't bend very well. And he's always had always had the issues. He um, refused to do back surgery because they said he had a 50-50% chance of being uh, in a wheelchair uh, from uh, what you call it, paralyzed from the waist down. So he's like, nope, I'll deal with the pain. And it's so weird that now we ha I have pain issues now, too. So when we if we try to walk together, we bump. <laughs> we can't walk too close together because we bump each other. <laughs> it's so funny because he his uh, let me think because it's my left side so it's his right side and so we always we kind of waddle waddle like this and we just kapunk kapunk <laughs> so we have to hold our hands like way out here <laughs> because the poles are shifting Con conspiracy theorists want to know curiosity about what you guys think about the Mandela effect situation. Do you guys believe in that? Is it a thing? Are we in a, a simulated glitchy system? Those are my interests. I'm very, I'm always very curious to know, like, you know, cause you know, I like all the magical stuff and the weirdness and the, you know, spirits. And is there more to what we see now, if that makes sense? I don't know. You got happy mail? Woohoo! I like the happy mail. If we are in simulation, I picked all the wrong traits. I know what you're saying. I know. I mean, I could go into a complete. I have a lot of philosophies, philosophicals about our our world. Much more than what we see. Yeah. I do believe that there is much more than what we see. So I have a couple of different few theories. Who knows which one is right, but. Yay for Ivy. Getting some Hapa mail. I want to see what it is. Hope she, are you going to record it or are you going to do it on your live? Got to see the Hapa mail. <laughs> yes but I so I also want to know what you guys take on aliens is that's a big thing at the moment I kind of feel like you know it's kind of acidite to think that we're the only humans or sentient beings you know what I mean your smoke break is done back to the blanket <laughs> okay have fun Michael <laughs> I know once you get to so close to being done, you like, for some reason, you seem to like either go faster or work harder on it, longer on it. <laughs> You're like, two more rows, get it done. <laughs> yeah, I believe that too, Shirley. There's just no way that we can not be the only people, just sentient beings, because I'm sure they're not going to look like us, you know what I mean? But there's got to be something. And then maybe they are the ones that put us in the simulation. 
Uh, I don't know. No one ever knows. You know, happy mail is like Christmas. Gifts in the house. Mm -hmm. That's true. I've never gotten any. I've never gotten any surprise happy mail. I've gotten you know things that I've bought, but yeah, I don't have a. I need a PO box, but that's another thing that I have to try to decide what I want to pay for. I don't even know how much PO boxes are here in Idaho. I have to figure that out. Ooh, there's buy me a coffee. If you decide that you would like to buy me a coffee, there is the link. But yeah. All the interesting things. Magics and oh, did you guys see? I decided to start wearing my um bracelets again. This is what I have on my like you know title page or whatever is my hands with my things. So this is garnet. Here, let me get closer actually. So this is the, the chakras. So this is garnet, this is carnelian, tiger's eye, green adventuring, amazonite lapis lazuli amethyst and then clear quartz all in the chakras yes that's my thing all of the stones thank you yeah i i'm way too into crystals i have above here you can't see it but i have an entire it's called a healing tray of all of my stones in the chakra colors in the chakra orders as well there's everything i spent way too much money on crystals <laughs> you like my beads thank you yeah and then this i never did talk about this either this is called pre night this is a heal the healer stone so if you like you have a chakra, chakra necklace that you made that's awesome i want to see that sometime too but so uh, the pre night is for like if you are um, intuitive or sensitive, it's supposed to help heal your um, your own body from the things that you might have taken on when you were trying to heal somebody else like the Reiki that I do also. So, yeah, if you're ever healing somebody, you don't want to take on their their sicknesses, which I think is what I did for my husband because he had back issues I learned Reiki, did all the things, and now I have back issues. <laughs> Conspiracy. We never know. I want to see that necklace, Miss Shirley. But yeah, I have... Ooh, this is another one I can show. I'm sorry. Sometimes this isn't all about yarn. This is my obsidian, golden sheen obsidian athame. Ooh is pretty you can't really see oh yeah you can there you go this is a beautiful i have all the things i do but yarn we're here for yarn okay good <laughs> i'm glad you like everything i don't know i mean it is my channel i'll do it's my channel and i'll do what i want to but <laughs> but I never know cuz around where I live the things that I believe are taboo you don't you don't talk about Bruno and so my magic stuff is not what people want to hear where I'm from so <laughs> yeah that's what I like though I am the outcast I am the black sheep turning it into a beautiful crown of yarn <laughs> that's true I know and I didn't used to be anybody that I wanted to be if that makes any sense I always was like okay what's this person doing can I do that should I do that but then I don't want to be copying people I'm I'm still trying to find my own voice publicly if that makes any sense because, like, my husband knows how weirdness crazy I am. But not a lot of people actually know how weirdness crazy I am. <laughs> You're beautiful just the way you are. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> so, 
sorry. I do a lot of songs, by the way, also. <laughs> I think that you can do, I can't remember, like if you do more than 10, 15 seconds, then that's when the monetization starts becoming a problem. So I'm going to try to keep it down to those because I can't not. Everything I talk, everything I do is either a song or a movie quote or a commercial. A lot of the times. Because I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> you like my beads? Pretty, pretty. This one is a little bit bigger because I had to buy that one separately. That's the Amazonite. Good for your throat chakra. <laughs> your neighbors think my whole family is weird, but normal is overrated. My whole, my, like, my mom's, my mom's family are all weird, but it's my people. We're all cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> but that's fine. But yeah, that's the way I think about craziness. Like why, I don't know, philosophy again, have fun, do your awesome best. Why do people lie? Why do people hurt? I don't know. Those are my sick. Those are my philosophicals. <laughs> we got three more minutes until Jax's goes live. Five people are waiting. That's always good. Did I miss anybody yet? Nope. I want to see the happy mail. We like magic. Okay, we've got a few minutes left still, so don't forget, this is the turkey spirit that we're doing this week, or this coming week, rather. So Sunday, let's see, the 14th, where's my calendar? The 14th through, so I need, I'm going to post it on a Friday, so 14th through the 19th, 14th through the 20th is the whole week, and then, yeah, and then I'll do it on Saturday during the live next week. So yeah, be thinking of things, painting, crochet, resin, anything that the turkey spirit deals with for thankfulness, gratitude, abundance, and yeah, and then let me know on the Facebook group, the craft room, and I think that they, I think StreamYard has been, or I mean uh, Nightbot has been dropping that too, so can I? Mm. Uno momento. I am finding it. Let's see if I can just drop the link. Up, up, up. Groups. This one. Share. Copy link. There we go. Uh, there is the link to the craft room. So you can join that and then I, and then post your things for the turkey. I'll post a little something on there and then you can just, I think you can, I don't know. It's been a long while. Can you reply with a picture underneath? I think you still can. So if you want to do that or make your own post, whichever, I'll look at both. Paula says, surely you have not met my family. So we're all crazy. It's fine. We're good. It's cool. It's cool. We could all be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> all right. Everybody is on their way over to Jax. She's not quite live yet, but people are heading on over. So let me grab her link again. Ta -ta -ta. Love the weirdness. All right, there is Jax's live again. And so we all, I will shall, I will, I will shall, I will shall see you there in just a moment. And you can, you can say Jamie Marie Raid if you would like to. If not, it's all good. It's up to you. But I will see you all next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> 
And then I will also put out a poll to see whether we will be doing it on Saturdays or Sundays anymore. So let me know. I love you all so, so much. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.